Hello, Radix community. Um, we wanted to show you a demo video of our drop two milestone on our way to the release of the Radix mainnet. So um, as we've talked about in some blog posts, we've split our, our delivery, our implementation of the Radix mainnet into four drops. Uh, we did a video at the end of our drop one when we just got through the real basics of building the system. We're now at the end of drop two, which brings us something that's much more like a real world network that we can spin up and start uh, really pounding through some serious testing for robustness and, and security. So we've got most of the, the important mechanisms of the network in place. And so this is a really exciting time for us to show you a demo of what these test networks can look like. So uh, I've got some members of our dev team on the line here. We've got Josh, Sergey, Alexander, and Theo. Um, they're going to be going through different parts of, of these test networks. So first, we're going to spin up a test network uh, with a, a number of nodes that's going to actually be uh, deployed out in the real world. Uh, and we're going to take a look at what our test and monitoring infrastructure looks like on those networks that we can use to gather data about how the nodes in the network are operating. Uh, we're going to quickly show you connecting a wallet to that test network so you can see that it's live and performing transactions. Uh, uh, and then we're going to do a, a demo of kind of a, a sneak peek of what running a, a node runner is going to look like. We've got a command line tool that we've built for setting up a node uh, and connecting that to the network. And so we're going to give you an early look at what that experience is going to be like. So with that, I will turn it over to Theo to start the demo. So hello, everybody. I'm Theo, and I will share my screen real quick so that I can show you. Uh, how I'm going to bring up a small Radix network consisting of 10 nodes so that the rest of us will have something to demo against. So we have already provisioned and prepared 10 AWS instances. Our DevOps have built these pipelines here, which allow us to deploy our Radix nodes in these instances. So what I just did now should uh, kick off a deployment job and start a Radix network using our latest release candidate branch. What we're doing here is we are getting the latest release candidate version of our code, um, building a Docker image out of it, which is then used via Ansible um, to deploy one node on every host we, we have. So we should have 10 nodes running in general, in, in total, sorry. After that, after the network is online and consensus has started, we run a couple of tests against that live cluster. And if they pass successfully, we consider this a successful deployment. What is Grafana? It's a visualization tool. It allows you to visualize stuff, in particular time series of your data. If you have time series data, you can build any kind of graph you want out of it. It even has some limited support for alerting itself, even though we're not using it. OK, so once we get the network booted up, we're going to be able to see some graphs that give us an idea of, of what the network is doing in time. Ooh, and here it is. It's happening. So using Prometheus, we're collecting metrics from our nodes. And we, we've set up a few dashboards here in Grafana, which allow us to monitor said modes. Um, these data points you're seeing here are coming in from the live nodes we just deployed and started. And as you can also see, we have a lot of graphs. Uh, developers often expose metrics from for the features they're working on. So this has grown quite a lot. We have system-related metrics from our nodes, like the memory they're using, CPU. We have consensus-related metrics, like the current epoch. And as you can see here, where I'm hovering, all, all our nodes, all 10 of our nodes, are in the same epoch, one, uh, which is as it should be. And we also have some database-related metrics. This also enables us to define alerts. For example, if we introduce an issue that breaks liveness uh, or our consensus rounds per second or views per second drop below a, a certain part, then we get immediately no, 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 notified about it. Um, everything looks good here. And I can see that the tests have passed. So we actually had a, we actually have a real network up and running. And with that, I can hand this over to Alex and his wallet. OK, so I'm briefly going to go through the desktop wallet right now. Um, it's uh, currently hard coded to connect to the test network that you just saw. Um, we have a faucet to get some test tokens, and I've made sure that I already have uh, some balance here to use. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, send some tokens from my main account here to another account. 
uh, I'm going to use this account, this account three, which has currently zero balance. Uh, so I'm going to just get that address, go to send, uh, and send from my main account to the other account. I'm going to send 10 XRD. And then I will see here what the transaction fee is uh, and the total costs of the transaction. So I'm going to click Send. Transaction is successful. And now my balance has been reduced uh, by 10.04 XRD. Uh, and I can see in my other account here that I have uh, 10 XRD received. And uh, with that, I'll hand it over to Sergey to show some CLI tools. Hello, my name is Sergey. I'm going to show a uh, command line tool we, which uh, we are going to use for, to, to manage our uh, validators. Mm, okay. Uh, command line tool uh, provides se several functions uh, necessary to maintain uh, uh, validator. Uh, now I'm going to show how to create keys for validator register and un unregistered validator. So first step is generate uh, keys uh, for validator. Uh, to do this, I, I need a command uh, generate validator keys key. Also, uh, to perform this command, I need to pass uh, password, uh, which will be used to encrypt keys uh, in, in the key store and uh, name of the key store where keys will be uh, saved. Uh, keys are generated. Uh, now uh, uh, I can check uh, st status of validator uh, using this uh, fresh uh, key. For the purpose, I need command show validator config, uh, and the same uh, command line parameters uh, for keys. No active validator config, which is expected. Now to perform operation, uh, I need some uh, funds uh, in this account. Uh, to do this, I am going to use faucet. Okay, I have funds. Now, now I can uh, register validator. And uh, using uh, show validator config command, I can see that now uh, validator is uh, registered. Uh, using uh, unregistered command, I can actually unregister a validator and check in now it's unregistered. That's uh, all main commands necessary to uh, maintain validator. I'm uh, hanging over uh, to Matt, he will explain uh, this. Okay. So yeah, hopefully you've got an idea of, of uh, what it's going to be like. Uh, when we get to the beta net point, we're going to be opening up validator node running to anybody in the community that wants to do this. Uh, we'll have a lot more information coming about how we're going to be running that beta net and, and uh, allowing people to connect with the wallet, the node runner client, and other things uh, in the next couple of months. Um, in the meantime, um, follow on along on our development process on GitHub. Uh, it's github.com slash radixdlt. And we'll talk to you soon.